Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smita. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you easy smoky cat eyes for hooded eyes. And I'm going to be giving you so many tips and tricks. So please stay tuned for that. And I'm also doing a giveaway like I've been doing throughout the month. All the rules are in the description box below. And what I'm giving away is shown at the end of the video. Without further ado, let's get started. First things first, we need to understand what hooded eyes are. Do you have hooded eyes or not? And the experiment that you can do is look straight in the mirror and try to look at your lids. How much of it can you actually see? Now, if the answer is you can barely see your lids because it's hiding under some extra skin, which we call the hood, that means you have hooded eyes. With hooded eyes, no matter what eye makeup you do, it's going to go hide under the hood. So we need to create a new lid space above our natural crease line. That way, when you open your eyes, the eye makeup is still visible. So for that, you need to keep your brows as high as possible. So I'm going to keep the arch of my brows really high. If you have lower brows, just try to brush it upwards and try to create as much space as possible. We have to optimize the space between our lash line and our brows. Using precisely my brow from Benefit in the shade 4.5, I'm only going to be filling in the sparse areas in my brows and I'm going to be staying within the borders of my brows. I'm not going to make it any thicker. Because brows are sitting on top of the hood, making your eyebrows thicker can make your hood look really heavy and that in turn can make your hooded eyes look very droopy. So try to keep your brows as natural as possible. I'm starting off with priming my lids with a concealer. I'm using the Milani concealer in 145. That'll even out the skin tone of my lids and remove some of the dimension that it's given to my hood and some of the depth that it's given to my eye socket. And then I'm going to be setting it with some loose powder from Airspun just so the concealer doesn't settle in those fine lines or folds and start creasing. And now I'm ready for the eyeshadows and the palette that I'll be using is Sahara from Alter Ego. I'm first taking a transition shade called Fox with a bullet pencil brush and I'm going to keep my eyes open looking straight in the mirror. I'm going to carve out my outer corner and the outer crease. So when I open my eyes, I should still be able to see the eyeshadow. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of that eyeshadow with this blending brush from Colourpop and I'm going to start blending the outer corner as well as the crease to create a new crease above my natural crease line and I'm also going to feather this eyeshadow outwards so it gives the illusion of an elongated eye. Using the bullet pencil brush, I'm going to smoke this out in my lower lash line as well, so it's well balanced with my crease. Next, with another blending brush, I'm taking Raven, which is a deeper shade of brown. And with this, I'm going to add more depth to my crease in the outer corner. We want to really carve out that outer corner so I'm going to keep it really low and not spread it as much as I did with the transition shade. And again just to balance everything out I'm going to be using it in the outer third of my lower lash line and joining it with my top lash line so there's that continuity. Thank you. 
and then I'm taking Mesa with a small definer brush from Coastal Scents and I'm going to be using this almost like a winged liner in the outer corner on my lash line both top as well as bottom and then I'm going to blend it out with the rest of the eyeshadows. This not just gives you an ombre effect the deepest shade being at the lash line and as you move upwards and outwards it becomes lighter but it also gives the illusion of elongated eyes like your eyes are getting pulled from the outer corner which in turn makes your eyes look bigger. Now that we've taken care of giving the illusion of longer eyes and that smoky cat eyed look in the outer corner, let's go ahead and brighten up the eyes and for that you need a lighter eyeshadow. I'm going to be using sands to not only highlight my brow bones but also my lid. I'm using a matte eyeshadow on my lid here because it's universally flattering but you're welcome to use a shimmer or anything that shines like a foiled eyeshadow but try to limit it to your lid because anything that shines attracts more light and makes things look bigger and you don't want it anywhere close to your hood. When I do smoky eyes, I like my eyeliner to be darker because I like that intense look. So in my waterline, I'm going to be using a black eye pencil from Jordana. And then using the Wet n Wild liquid liner in black, I'm going to draw out a small wing and a small liner in my top lash line. I'm going to keep the line really thin because again, I have hooded eyes. If you keep it thicker, it's going to look odd. And if you want to know how to draw winged liner for hooded eyes, I'm going to attach a video link right on top. I'm going to highlight the inner corner with sands and that gives the illusion of separating the two eyes out in turn brightening up the eyes further. And then I'm going to finish up with some false lashes but before that I'm going to prep my lashes by curling it and applying a coat of mascara. I'm using the Bad Girl Bang Mascara from Benefit. With smoky eyes I like lashes that wing out because it adds to that elongated look in the outer corner and I also want something that's shorter in the inner corner and wispy so it doesn't cover the lid space. And the one that I'll be using today is Ace from Carity. Carity just launched a bunch of new foaming lashes and this is one of my favorites. And here is the completed look and a comparison from before to after. What a big difference. Let me know your thoughts by commenting below and if you enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you're new here. I post new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. For your convenience I'm listing all the products that I used in the description box right below this video with product links and you'll also find my social media links there so if you're not already following me there now is probably the time. Today's giveaway is by Dermacol and it's only open to US residents. All the other giveaways that I had for the month were international giveaways so no matter where you are across the world you can enter those giveaways except for this one for this you have to be a US resident and all the rules are in the description box below good luck everybody I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new video bye guys